not what these two mothers were bargaining on, premature babies and no milk. And this is where the milk bank comes in. I was very stressed and I couldn't express the amount he needed to, in, um, to take in. But with the milk that they've given us, it's taken a huge strain off us. It's off me personally, because now my baby is able to get what he needs, his intake. The dietitian suggested that I get a DPM, donated breast breast milk. Then yesterday, the sisters said I must sign, uh, I must fill in a form to get the consent that I must give my baby a DPM. So uh, ever since then, I can see that there is a change for my baby. The Dorangins Amil Bank has 30 registered donors. They are screened, must be older than 18, and not use nicotine, alcohol, or drugs. They are tested for TB and HIV and AIDS. The milk is pasteurized to maintain the hygiene chain and extend its shelf life. Knowing the dangers that formula has for these prem babies, I decided to become a donor mum. I see it as a privilege knowing that I'm helping these prem babies and seeing that my baby is a year old, what I'm trying to say is that I'm living proof that irrespective of your baby's age, you can still donate. The health benefits of breast milk are deemed vital for the progress of premature born and HIV infected infants. This is cost saving as we used to send transport to Kaila Hospital four times a week. So now when there's a baby that is in need in the unit, we take milk from our own milk bank. So far for March, we collected 310 bottles from 30 donor moms. These mothers were lying in, the, in, in our hospital. Despite the initial success of the milk bank, there's an urgent need for more donors. Lerato Tipa, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.